Ooh, ooh, mmm. Greetings, welcome back, family. You know who I am. This is Dreamer Boy, nineteen eighty. I'm your gracious host. Hope you had a good day today, family. If not, you know the old adage: Ask yourself why, and remember, happiness is the inside job. It will always be an internal affair, huh? You heard? Shout out to the Lapeef Network. Uh, I think in time, Dan, you got his channel cancer, guys. I don't really know what's going on, uh, but just hopefully that he can just get his channel back, keep things moving, but moving right along. Let's jump into this reaction, family. I'll say, I'll say this because I understand what Logic was saying. Oh, really? I understand what he was saying. So when men get upset and the passion is right there, they'll break your phone or bust a hole in the wall. Doesn't mean they're violent. They're not hitting you. It's just the frustration. We've all been there before or felt that way. However, and this is what I said at the beginning, with women, we think about it. What's going to hurt him more? So it's not that we're just grabbing phones or punching walls. We're thinking, let me get them Jordans. That's going to hurt him more. Let me get them clothes. That's going to hurt him more. So we think what's going to hurt more. The man is not thinking what's going to hurt her more. I'm going to take her bundles and burn them. I ain't never heard no man say that. I've never heard a man say I'm taking them Louis Vuitton shoes and I'm gonna throw them in a pond. But women, we think we're more logical when it comes to trying to hurt a man. And so I think that's what I'm saying. Isn't that undermining the experience experience abuse at the hands of women? When a, a woman hits a man in the heat, what of the are you talking about, Kay? No, Kayla, I'm Kayla, 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 you're oh I'm talking about well, Kay. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go on the field. Hey, we're going to Lady T. Because um, so. we did a show on your show, Courtney. About the hitting. I'm gonna go to lady. Go ahead. You just um, gotta get. You just gotta get one more word in, don't you, Kay? <laughs> so, you know that's that's the thing that that kills me a lot of times. I, I can't that, talk now. No, no, no. Can't. You can't. Not. I'm gonna come to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, lady T. Please excuse me, but I just gotta call it like I see it. The same way that I call out bad, you know, behavior that I don't necessarily agree with with Chaotic last week is the same way that we're going to keep the same energy and we're going to call it out when we see it coming from a woman. And she just got to get the last word in. Even when Q was talking, it's, okay, we'll just make your point. Yo, you, you, who are you talking to? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the form of disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Especially considering that Q was patient, Courtney was patient the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And then even when JR say stuff, it's like, all right, all right, all right, we're going to go to Lady T. It's got to get one more word in. Got to get more, one more, more. Just to show the defiance, the disrespect, to, to have no regard for anybody else, but then at the same time, want to play like they hit in the parking lot when somebody called them out. That's nonsense. That is nonsense, bro. They don't even have, this is crazy. If we don't start calling out the behavior when we see it, myself included, I'm, I'm not above it. Somebody can call it out. But real talk is always something. It's always one little last word. It's really, it's, it's, it's just crazy to me. I don't understand how people continue to just deal with that on a regular basis. Hey, we that have makes no sense to me, bro. And that's why logic keeps fading to black. And then we act like we don't know why he's fading to black. It don't make no it sense, bro. Well, well, well. Family, family, family. What do y'all think about that? To be honest with you, um, I have to agree with Courtney. I think men are very reactionary for the most part anyway. You do have some guys that premeditate. Generally, I think most guys are reactionary. Women are very vindictive. Some things can marinate up on a woman's mind for months, for years. I think women are very vindictive in general, family. That's just my opinion. From my experience, uh, I seen women cut your clothes up, put bleach on your clothes, key your car do all kinds of things now i see guys do some stupid stuff too but it's not to the level of a woman that's all that we say moving right along whenever katis had to get the last word i do agree with that time see guys take notes guys pay close attention to this right here whenever that you see a woman in general have these type of characteristics and traits that she just have to get the last word that's not a red flag that's a stop sign god buddy, did you hear me that's a stop sign. If she have to get the last word, that automatically tells you without a shadow of a doubt that she's defiant. She's showing you in her own way that she's defiant. It don't even have to be nothing big. It is the snowball effect. It starts off like this. 
small, rolling her eye, breathing hard, and act like she don't listen. That is something that's deeper bubbling up in the inside, fellas. I'm telling you. And one day you will see it in a nasty form. One day it will manifest. You will see it. You'll be like, where did that come from? It was right there in your face the whole time. But you choose to ignore it, huh? That's what most guys do. Because most guys operate out of a scarcity mindset. Because most guys can't even get sex. And we know this. Guys aren't getting sex like that. So most guys will put over anything from a woman. That's why women think like how they think. Huh? Did I say it? I said what I said. Let me say it again. Most guys operate out of a scarcity mindset. Because most guys don't know how to deal with women. They don't know how to talk to women. So the first woman they come across that show them any type of attention, especially if she looks half the way decent, oh, she can run rough shot on him. Simply because he feel like this is the best that he can do. Hmm? Did I say it? Yeah, I said what I said. So what tends to happen, she can treat him any kind of way, talk trash to him, do all kind of stuff. Seeing what happened, that just throw gas onto an already existing fire. So you thought that she was the fire at first. You wait when she get comfortable. And I do agree with Anton up on this one. I really do. Moving right along, guys. You don't have to. It's some people that don't get to the other side just because they don't give enough effort. Honestly, it's some people that's talented as hell. It's some people that really, really got, got every tool that they need every tool they need in their toolbox but they settle for being average because they don't put in the effort bro it's a lot of people like that and i'm saying that you it's some people that account. don't have to be on that side of the fence they actually have it they got everything that they need they got the support they got the network they got the people they got the information and they just don't apply it and so i'm not okay with allowing people to be to go to court if you first. try to be successful and you wind up just becoming average i'm cool with that but the thing that I don't like is people not putting in the effort, and that's the thing that JR was talking about. All right, Courtney, go ahead. Go ahead. But I, I want to say this, and that it's not for everybody. We put so big emphasis of you get to the bag, get to the bag, get to the bag. There's people that want to be content. There's people that is happy that I, I, I appreciate a man with a nine to five that come and I know when he's coming home and I can toot that thing up for him at five o'clock. Like, I like being on a schedule. I like contentment. That's peaceful to me. Me knowing where you are, you knowing where I am, that's peace to me. Everybody ain't like that. Every woman, we talk about hypergamy, every woman ain't hypergamous. And in order to find a woman that's not hypergamous, you got to find a woman that's content. That's content with being at home and doing the mundane things, and that makes her happy. She's still joyful with going to work and coming home and just cooking and just being regular. Mm -hmm. I don't see any problem with just being a regular person. Uh, oh no, I, I, wanna, I mean, I know. Muted, and, Anton. And, and, you said and the thing that there was a problem talking, with being a regular person. Well, we're talking. Hold on, well, Anton, hold on, hold on. You, you in essence, you, you in essence, kind of said that. I, I said don't that care if you said it. To give the effort. Yes, yes, family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Go ahead and click it. Come on back to see me, family. I appreciate it. Let's jump on this thing. To be honest with you, Courtney and Anton are correct. What Anton essentially is saying is that people have all the necessary tools, right? They have everything, but they don't apply it. They don't put it into practice, right? So I do agree with Anton on this. And what Courtney said about some people just want to be regular people. It's not about money so much. It's not about being broke, but it's not about living like the rich and the famous. So I do agree with both of them here. Both of them are correct. To be honest, there are some people that just want to be normal people and they are content with what they are doing. But in this day and age with social media and all of this, right? It's hard to find a woman that's not hypergamous. Now, it's hard to find one. Now, are they out there? Yes, they're out there. But in this age, just look on social media. Everybody want to be the big dog. Everybody want to be on trips. Everybody want the best jewelry. Everybody want the finest clothes. Everybody want to shop on Rodale Drive. Everybody want to live in 90210, Beverly Hills or somewhere. Huh? Am I lying about it? Put it in the comment section. Put it in the comment section. Everybody can't drive a Bentley, guys. Everybody can't drive a Rolls Royce. 
to be honest with you, most people can't even afford a $100,000 car, let it alone a $200,000 car, $300,000. So I do agree with both of them here. Both of them are right. Both of them are right. Some people want the bad. Some people want to be average. Now, as far as women, ah, most women that you deal with want you to have a level of income. And most of them say six figures. But a lot of them want more. A lot of them want that lifestyle of the rich and famous. And let's just be honest. Moving right along, guys. Everybody doesn't have settling. that grind. Hold on. Everyone doesn't have that grind. And it's okay. It's okay to want to grow at the post office or not. The post office make good money. They got good benefits. I've said before, we so focused on the bag, the bag, the bag, but you in debt, debt, debt. Get out of debt. Don't owe. I've said that before. We're going to focus on good benefits. Living below your means. These conversations are never had, and we're normal people. I'm not going to be, I probably won't ever be a millionaire. And that's why I don't, I don't require a lot of money. I require to be debt free and to have contentment in my home. But that's not enough, Courtney. And I see y'all spill these statistics on a regular basis and you say, well, the average white family has a net worth of X and the average black family has a net worth of this. Hold on, it's bro. It's not okay. enough to just be get free when you start talking yeah. about resources and comparing yourself to other groups. I don't compare myself to anyone but myself and what I know is what's happy for me and my contentment. I don't compare myself to Nan nobody. What I know and how I take care of myself is debt free. So it allows with the money that I get, I'm able to save, I'm able to invest. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to work hours upon hours to do it. I work a regular nine to five like everybody else. However, I live below my means. So I'm able and I'm free to do a whole lot of stuff that a lot of people that may maybe double the amount that I can probably don't because they so worried about what the Joneses got. And I wanna make sure everybody know I got money. So I'm wearing this and I'm wearing that. I told people, I said it before, I'm at the Dollar General. I shop at Target and Marshalls, and I'm fine with that. Me too. I don't need all that shit. And I don't need my man worried, hurt, breaking his back, trying to get what the Joneses got. I want a normal family in a normal household. Have you always thought- I want him to come home to me every night. I'm, I'm just curious, and I'm not insinuating anything, but I, I would like to know, have you always thought like that? I know you said you're 39 now. At 28 were you thinking like that just curious no. not insane no and, the, and this is the reason why and this is why we need to start talking and telling women this because mm -hmm. before i used to date the man the athlete ain't got no time for me out there with women and i was lonely and sad yeah and this was and it i didn't have to shit to show oh. for it and i have shit to show for it because he's out and i'm thinking that's sexy and that's hypergamy and yeah 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 and the, in, in real life what we need to be focused on is finding contentment and joy in our lives. And we can have that without always chasing money, 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 money. Like, yeah. I get it. You don't want to be broke. But it's a balance. Let me, let me. Well, well, well. What a good conversation. Let me address Anton's point first about the wealth gap. The last time I checked, the wealth gap is eons apart. The last time I checked, guys, Black Americans own 0.5%. You heard me correctly, 0.5. Not even 1% of the United States wealth. Let that sink in. 0.5. Take all of your entertainers, take all of your athletes, everybody, the regular people, the middle class, the poor people, whoever, and add them up, 0.5% of the United States wealth. Now, you know that's by design, right? Let me just titillate your mind real quick. Whenever it comes to getting a small business loan, it takes an act of Congress. You heard me. Did you hear me? It takes an act of Congress for you to get a small business loan. Now, whenever it comes to getting a car loan, oh, sure. You know why? Because it keeps you in debt. Oh, you never thought about that, have you? When it comes to getting a mortgage, sure. Why? Because it keeps you in debt for 15 or 20 years or 30 years. Did you hear me? Oh, you want a credit card? Here you go. I'm going to send you 10 of them through the mail. Why? Because it keeps you in debt. 
Oh, but when it comes to getting a small business loan and trying to build capital, oh no, you have to be squeaky clean. And that's not the victim limits. That's just the truth of the matter. Now, I seen a guy that lived in the same town that I used to live in, had one tractor, one, got a major contract at a nuclear plant, right? This guy bid at the job. He let the people know his situation. He had one tractor. This guy got a multi-million contract. They paid him half up front. Let me show you the game. Cause he didn't have the capital to have the equipment. They gave him half of the money up front. He went and bought all new equipment. That is how he got his business afloat. And now the guy is a multi-millionaire. See, that don't happen for us. You heard what I said? This guy had one piece of equipment. They gave him half of the money up front, guys. He went and bought all new equipment. And his business is booming right now. That's been years ago. That don't happen for us. See, this is the thing that we talk about. I don't care about somebody calling you a nigga or something. Who cares about that? I'm talking about whenever it comes to opportunities, gaining wealth, gaining capital. That's what we talking about. But moving right along, I have to agree with Courtney on this one as well. Now at this age, she know the game. Most women want a rich man. Let's just be honest, y'all. Let's quit beat around the bush and bits and words and all that old crazy stuff. Most women want a rich guy. Like how Courtney so eloquently stated, the guy's not gonna spend time with you. This guy probably gonna have multiple women, to be honest with you. And you know most women don't like that, but some of them will put up with it. And the catch is, most women aren't built for that kind of lifestyle. Let's just be honest. And to be quite frank and candid, most of y'all don't qualify for a guy like that. Oh God, I'm getting in trouble now. My subscriber number's gonna drop. Well, come what may, right? I got to tell the truth. Some of y'all attitudes automatically disqualify y'all. Hmm? Because you are not coachable. You don't want to be under anybody toolage. Huh? Did you hear me? You don't want to heed to nobody instructions. So therefore, that automatically disqualify you. Some of y'all are bad built. Huh? God about it. You're built like Mr. Potato Head. And you think you're going to get a guy that's rich? This guy got a million women chasing after him. He might even sleep with you just to do it. But I'm talking about marrying. Some of y'all just don't qualify because you're built like Mr. Potato Head. You're bad built. Oh, God. My number's dropping. I see him tanking right now. I see him plummeting. But I'm going to tell you the truth. Huh? Some of y'all just don't qualify. There's levels to it. Back in the day, they didn't have the number system like now. They just call her a bad mama jamma. Huh? Somebody put it in the comment section. I'm telling the truth. Somebody else called her a brick house. Huh? That's what they used to call them back in the day. But now... We got a number system from one to 10. <laughs> I know y'all gonna be upset, but you will get over it. But yes, some people just wanna be average, Courtney, and just live a decent life. Not broke, not struggling, but just be comfortable, take family vacations, be able to go get a car or a truck at wheel with no kind of red tape, no kind of problems, uh, have a surplus of money. I do understand, cause everybody can't drive a Rolls Royce, y'all. That's just what it is. That's a one percenter car. Everybody can't drive a Bentley, guys. Everybody can't buy a Range Rover. Everybody can't buy a S580 Mercedes. Everybody can't buy a 740 or a 750 BMW. Everybody can't ride around in an LS500 Lexus. Everybody can't buy a new Cadillac Escalade Platinum. You heard me, I can go on all day. Everybody can't buy them kind of cars. Everybody can't live in a certain neighborhood. But that still don't mean that you rest on your laws either. You don't rest on your laws. You push and you scribe to get the best. You heard me. You push and scribe to get the best family that you know how. But I'm not going to stress myself out. That's the catch. Mic drop. Family, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that share button for me. Hit the cash app for me. And click on the super thanks under the video, guys, and support my channel. Hit that subscribe button. And like I always tell y'all guys, I think you're tenfolds over. Come back to see me now you're here. And remember, there is more. Peace.